Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. Now, being a son, I, uh, I, I, I want to unfold a part of my life, but I want to uh, be careful about it because I don't want you to misjudge my mom and dad, whom you never knew. Uh, just like you, uh, I was not reared perfectly. Uh, there are some things I realized growing up, and uh, I will tell you what they are in just a moment. Uh, my mom and dad married the 5th of October, 1930. They had my brother, August the 5th, 1931. It adds up right, so that was... <laughs> but that was quick, right out of the chute. They're having babies. And then September the 8th, 1932, they have my sister. My brother's name is Orville. My sister's name is Lucille, named after my mother. Everybody knows her as Lucy. And then on the 18th of October, 1934, I came along. Uh, I was a mistake. Uh, that's what my mother called it. And um, I thought, well, if I am one, I might as well be one, you know. <laughs> I have a little fun with that, but my mom meant no harm. She simply said, in so many words, you weren't planned. But interestingly, my, my brother was clearly my mother's favorite, and favoritism was a part of our family. Major mistake. And my sister was my dad's favorite, clearly. Uh, there was a lot to love and a lot to admire in both of those kids. Uh, but in my case... Uh, I, I really did not know the respect of my parents. I did not feel affirmed. Uh, I don't think ever. Never attended my games or my plays that I was a part of or the debates that I participated in. I didn't figure highly in their lives. Now, before you go ooh and ah, please, uh, this isn't uh, sad times. It's, it's a reality that marked my childhood. Uh, but let me tell you what I realized as I was growing up. First of all, I'm different. I'm not my brother, and I'm not my sister. My brother is brilliant. If he's not an, a genius in his IQ, he's approaching genius. Rice Institute was his school. They called it then, now Rice University. Very bright, very capable, very gifted. Could have been a concert pianist. Whatever he touched worked. My sister came along a year later, and, and she is just contagious in her enthusiasm for life. Artistic, uh, lovely uh, touch on life. Her journals to this day are, are, you could take photographs of the pages of her calligraphy as she writes. Beautiful handwriting and magnificent gifts in music. A soloist, for years sang with the Dallas Civic Opera. Um, now, uh, my, my, my brother brought home boring report cards. I had variety in, <laughs> in, in mine. He was predictable. I mean, he even got a 10 plus in attitude. Me, all over the board, man. I realized as I was growing up that I was a unique individual. But I didn't feel those differences were acknowledged. I was constantly compared, especially to my brother, which caused me to resent him, and to this day we're not close. Uh, I often wish we were, I just don't know how to be. No one's upbringing was perfect, least of all Chuck Swindoll's. His childhood reminiscing has some great lessons for parents and children alike. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Lifetrack presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, The Best Kept Secret of Wise Parenting, was copyrighted in 2004, and this Lifetrack sound recording was copyrighted in 2010 by Charles R. Swindoll, Incorporated. 
All rights are reserved worldwide.